Dear students, today I am going to explain you about set. <clears throat> okay. So first of all, you see what is a set. It is a well defined collection of elements or objects. Then what is well defined? If I say a collection of rose flowers. <clears throat> yes, it is a set. But if I say a group of meritorious students, no, it is not a set. Because well defined, we cannot define who are meritorious and who are. There is not any limit. There is not any well definition of meritorious students. But rose flowers, yes it is. <clears throat> if I say prime numbers below 13, yes. It is a set. In this way, we will find out which are sets and which are not. Now, representation of a set. Representation or description of a set. Two ways are there. First is tabular form. And second is set builder form. In the case of set tabular form, suppose A is a set in which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the elements. And in set builder, if I write, then this will be written as x so that x belongs to n. And x is less or equals to 5. So, natural numbers, x is a natural number which is less or equals to 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is set builder form and this is a tabular form. Now, <coughs> then comes, suppose, this sign belong, it is, it means belongs to, and this sign means does not belong to. As you see, if I say one belongs to A, yes, it is. But if I say P belongs to A? No, it is not. If I say 1 in the curly bracket belongs to A? No, it is not. Because it is a set, it is a set. Any element which is written in braces, curly bracket, it becomes a set. But if B is a set in which 1 in the curly bracket, 2, 3, 4, then if I write 1 belongs to A, belongs to B, yes, it is. But in this case, if I write like this, 1 double curly bracket belongs to B, no, 
it is not because here it becomes a set because this is a set and the set is not in b here this is an element okay now comes subset symbol of subset is this see if a and b are two sets and every element of a is present in set b then we say a is a subset of b but if every element of a is in set b but set b has at least one element which is not in set a then a is the proper subset of b a is proper subset of b now how to find number of subsets number of subsets formula is 2 to the power n where n equals to number of elements suppose if c equals to 1 2 then here number of subsets of set c equals to 2 to the power 2 because here n is 2 in this case 1 2 so this becomes 2 into 2 equals to 4 and therefore subsets are subsets of set c are first phi phi is the subset of all the sets and then set itself set itself is the subset of itself and then individual elements So in this way, one, two, three, four, four subsets of set C are available. But if we are finding number of proper subsets, then what we will do? Number of proper subsets of set C is equals to two to the power n minus one. That is two to the power two minus one. That is four. Minus one is equals to three. So number of proper subsets of sets C will be three, but number of subsets will be four. Okay. In this way, we will find sets, proper subsets and subsets. Thank you. If you like, please share and subscribe.